by the time Operation Market Garden was unsavable, the paratroopers of the British 1st Airborne Division were pinned down at the bridge in Arnhem. But they also set up a perimeter around the city of Oosterbeek, where they also set up their headquarters in Hotel Hartstein. Another remarkable building that was located within this perimeter is this one. The Old Church of Oosterbeek, which on the night of the 25th to the 26th became the terminus of Operation Mark Garden and was one of the rally points for the rescue mission Operation Berlin. The men who were responsible for the, this sector of the uh, perimeter were under command of Major Lonsdale um, and this church was nicknamed Lonsdale Church. Um, this is beautifully shown in the movie uh, Theirs is the Glory. If you never have seen this movie I highly recommend it. Um, it is a movie that came out in 1946, just one year after Operation Market Garden and all the um, actors, if I may say so, um, were actually veterans who have fought during Operation Market Garden um, in and around Arnhem, uh, which is pretty crazy. And this is the church where Lonsdale uh, also gave his uh, motivation speech uh, to encourage his men to fight like beasts, and uh, yeah, for sure they did. I told you guys this church was located within the perimeter but um, by within the perimeter I actually mean close to the edge of the perimeter because and I'll show you guys if you give me a second to walk towards the stone wall um, the perimeter set up by the first airborne division during operation mark garden ended pretty much at this house that is where the perimeter uh, stopped up during operation mark garden and where the Germans controlled this uh, area. So, you can, so as you can see this church was pretty close to the front line. The church of Oosterbeek was severely damaged by the heavy fightings that took place in Oosterbeek. Um, and after the war they pretty much rebuilt it in its former glory. But if you walk around, you can still see damage done by the heavy fightings um, during Operation Market Garden. And speaking about damage, if we, I show you this tree, which may look like a normal tree, but it's not. It has a really beautiful story. And that is the story of Mark Lever, who was patrolling around this church during Operation Market Garden with four other mates. And by the time they came at this tree, a German mortar uh, hit in this very spot and killed his four mate mates instantly but Mark Lever was by coincidence standing behind the tree and all the shrapnel that was meant for Mark Lever was caught by this tree and as you can see the tree is uh, pretty damaged by this mortar that hit, it, hit in this very spot and Mark Lever uh, survived the war and um, passed away in 2000 By the time everyone knew the men in Arnhem, but also here in Oosterbeek, would be overrun by the Germans, they set up a rescue mission called Operation Berlin. Unfortunately, this operation isn't well known to the public, um, mostly because it isn't shown in the movie uh, Bridge to Far. On the other hand, it is beautifully shown in the movie um, Theirs is the Glory. So again, I highly recommend watching this uh, movie. It is a very detailed movie about the battles in and around Arnhem and Oosterbeek. This is the trail that the men would take during Operation Berlin. Um, in front of me is the church of Oosterbeek and the idea was that the men would take this trail and approximately at the point where I am standing right now cross the fields towards the trees in the distance um, because that is where the Nederrhein River is, 
which they had to uh, cross to get into Allied territory again. Um, at the Nederrijn River there would be uh, a force of Canadian engineers who would bring them safely across the river. Um, and there is also a monument and uh, I will show you guys in a bit. And uh, So yeah, pretty amazing that the uh, men have walked this trail where I am uh, standing right now and uh, walking it myself. I am on the exact spot where in the night of the 25th and the 26th Operation Berlin took off in order to rescue the um, paratroopers who were pinned down in that church right there. Um, the operation was done by the in this spot the operation was done by the 23rd Canadian Field Engineers and a bit further down the dike um, another company was doing the same thing and that was the tw uh, 20th Field Engineers. The operation was launched around 9.30 p.m. Um, but the first boat that they launched into the water was already full of holes uh, by dragging it over rocks on the way to the water. Uh, so the operation was postponed for 50 minutes and after that every 20 minutes a, another boat was launched with a total of 14 um, boats sailing back and forth to pick up uh, uh, paratroopers. And this was all done under uh, continuously machine and mortar fire from the Germans. Um, but yeah it, was, yeah, it was pitch black and the weather was also in the advantage of the Allies, so the Germans were pretty much shooting blind and around 4 a.m. the weather was clearing up and the sun was coming up so they had to uh, abort the mission um, with a total of 2400 rescued paratroopers who they brought um, to this side of the Nader Rhine. Um, and during the operation um, behind that tree was a first aid station um, for the uh, British paratroopers who were uh, yeah, injured during the operation or um, injured during Operation Market Garden, so they get say they could get um, medical treatment firsthand before going to um, a different location. Um, and if I turn around, oh, uh, the other on the other side of the dike is a monument that commemorates the Canadians who participated with uh, Operation Berlin. Um, so yeah, let's uh, go and take a look at the, the monument. Unfortunately, this operation is less known to the public than, for an example, Pegasus, which was shown in the miniseries Band of Brothers. But thankfully, the Canadians have received a beautiful monument to commemorate what they have done uh, during Operation Market Garden and getting 2,400 paratroopers safely across the Nederrijn. Um, this being said, I hope, I, I hope you find it an interesting story that I told you about the old church in Oosterbeek um, and for now have a nice day and I hope you'll join me on my next travel to history. See you later.